I support uh, the first two elements of this motion. Um, the motion recognises the South Australian Islamic community as celebrating Eid al-Fatah, marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan, and acknowledges the important social and economic contribution of our Islamic community. And I will uh, talk more about those two parts of the motion in a moment. Uh, but I also uh, indicate that I am seeking to move that the motion be amended uh, to delete C uh, and instead replace it with the words, the note that multicultural policy in South Australia enjoys multipartisan support that helps to strengthen multicultural and intercultural engagement. Uh, I do so because the motion as it stands, I feel, has an uncomfortable discrepancy between the entirely sincere uh, first two parts of the motion, which are worthy of this House's time uh, and consideration and support uh, for the important role that the Islamic community plays in South Australia and the deeply and intensely spiritually felt relationship uh, that is with Islamic people and the important month of Ramadan. Uh, and indeed celebrating Eid al-Fatah at the end of the month of Ramadan is an important, deeply spiritual moment uh, for Muslims in South Australia and around the world. And it sits uncomfortably with me, sir, and I think it should for the House, for the third part of the motion to stand as written as a self-congratulatory pat on the back by the government members for government policy in relation to multicultural affairs, particularly when multicultural affairs has always been considered a bipartisan, multipartisan indeed, as my uh, uh, amendment suggests, part of policy. Multiculturalism in South Australia. Uh, as every South Australian Multicultural Commission ambassador to a new citizenship ceremony uh, will tell you, and indeed as is understood by people in this House and beyond the Parliament, uh, is one of the most successful social policies in South Australia. We in South Australia benefit from multiculturalism. The idea that people who have come to our state from all around the world uh, form a tapestry of backgrounds and experiences and heritages and cultures so that stories be told uh, and indeed shared with children in celebration, shared with each other in celebration of where people's heritage has been coming to South Australia. And indeed in sharing and celebrating our backgrounds, we make our state a stronger place. And government has a role to play here because of course we haven't always welcomed people to this state as we should. Uh, government's role in celebrating multiculturalism, uh, in ensuring that we are encouraging our communities to be harmonious and welcoming is important, has been important. The pride in which many members of the House have celebrated our groundbreaking legislation in the late 1970s, establishing the South Australian Multicultural and Ethnic Affairs Commission, uh, and indeed, uh, when that legislation was refreshed within the last few years with the development of the South Australian Multicultural Commission uh, under refreshed and improved and updated legislation, and most recently, when members of both sides of the parliament uh, supported the development of the Multicultural Charter set out in that Marshall Liberal Government legislation, delivered by the new government uh, to its fin finality and signed by members of both sides of the chamber. This is, these are all examples of how Labor, the Liberal Party, uh, the Greens, all of the parties in this parliament have supported multiculturalism and multicultural affairs. And indeed, in terms of the financial support, successive governments have provided generally more money than the governments they have replaced. That is not unusual. I think that in a motion that is so sensitively worded in its first two paragraphs to particularly pay tribute uh, to our Muslim community and recognise the importance of Eid al-Fatah, that existing C, uh, I think, sits uncomfortably, sir. And the motion would benefit from removing the partisan element, recognising, indeed, the multi-partisan element. Because, of course, the work that is done in multicultural affairs is never just supported by governments, and it's never just supported by the parties of government. I imagine all of the minor parties and the independent members in both houses of the parliament would also strongly support the work that is done in multicultural affairs and would uh, the, the idea of excluding their support from that, from this motion, by only referencing the benevolence of one side of politics, the government of the day, sits uncomfortably. I think the amendment therefore significantly improves it. Uh, the amendment, I remind members, is that we, rather than specifically referring to only the government, 
we note that multicultural policy in South Australia enjoys multi-partisan support that helps to strengthen multicultural and intercultural engagement. I trust the, I mean, no offence or disrespect to the mover at all, because she gave an excellent speech. Uh, and indeed, I think that what she is seeking to capture in the motion is very worthy. I go on to reflect particularly, uh, the <clears throat> member for Torrens reflected on the time she has spent uh, sharing iftar dinners uh, in the homes of her constituents, and indeed that is a privilege that members of parliament uh, of both sides of the house have often yeah, spoken yeah. of. Um, I think my first iftar dinner was not in someone's home, but was at the convention centre, a large iftar dinner that I imagine many members of the parliament have been to, uh, hosted by the McYes Foundation, uh, particularly supporting Pinnacle College and multicultural youth. And the way in which so many community leaders have been brought into uh, the experience of understanding Ramadan uh, more closely uh, and having the privilege of being invited to iftar dinner with that group does them great credit. Uh, and the speakers over the years who have uh, spoken at that dinner about the important role uh, of Ramadan in the life of a Muslim uh, and indeed in the way that the Islamic community contributes to our society uh, is very worthy. And so I take the opportunity to thank once again uh, Pinnacle College of the McGuess Foundation and all of those who have contributed to that. The celebration of Eid al-Fitr is, 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 al is particularly noted in this motion, and of course it is the end of that month-long fast from dawn to dusk that Ramadan, uh, the holy month of Ramadan, represents. And for Muslims in South Australia as around the world, it is a time of devotion and prayer, of reconnecting with family and friends and helping those in need. Uh, the holy month of Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam. It is an opportunity for Muslims to purify their mind, their body, their heart and soul by fasting and praying. Uh, healthy adult Muslims are required to fast each day from dawn until dusk and abstain from drinking, eating, immoral acts and anger. Um, our Muslim community in South Australia, sir, represents approximately 2.3% uh, of our population in South Australia, according to the most recent census data. It is a growing community, uh, growing both because, of course, uh, the Islamic community, the Muslim community in South Australia are participating in community life uh, and families are growing in South Australia. Uh, and indeed, uh, we f families, uh, as we encourage in all of our multicultural communities, families are telling the story of their heritage, uh, their uh, history and indeed their faith to their children, and indeed their children are uh, uh, invariably, not, uh, not invariably, but in, in a majority of cases also identify uh, as Muslim. The uh, other source, of course, is immigration, and particularly in recent years, uh, increased immigration from countries including uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, India and Bangladesh uh, have seen our Islamic population grow in South Australia, and we welcome them. The... Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm minded to reflect on uh, a, an event I was attending just on this Saturday night most recently passed with the Minister for Multicultural Affairs uh, and about 150 members of our local Sierra Leonean community. Um, Sierra Leone is a country with about 75% uh, Muslim population, about 24% uh, Christian population and a very small number uh, uh, identifying as uh, with traditional African religions. In Sierra Leone, uh, one of the notable features of this country is the extraordinary strength of the religious tolerance uh, that has long been a hallmark, particularly since independence. Uh, a country that is 77%, uh, 75 to 77% Muslim, and yet all but one of its heads of state has been a Christian. And where public events, including the Independence Day celebration last Saturday night, traditionally start with an Islamic prayer and the Lord's Prayer, said by side by side in celebration of the religious tolerance and indeed celebration of culture uh, that exists in that country, and which was a, a, a real pleasure to be a part of, a privilege to be invited to be a part of on Saturday night. So 
I absolutely commend the first two parts of the motion and together with the amendment to the House, I think the amendment strengthens the motion and it will do this House credit and it will do the government credit if it supports it. Uh, but certainly, particularly to all Muslims in South Australia and to our Islamic community, uh, this House today recognises the Islamic community, uh, the celebration of Eid al-Fitr and acknowledges the important social and economic contribution of our Islamic community and this House recognises those two things wholeheartedly and without dissent.